I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm at. I'm at the final Bowser fight. <laughs> Mario. It's a cutscene. I'm glad to hear that. Or I'm glad to see that. My heart is beating super fast right now. I forgot. I've never actually completed the game. I've played it and done some good things, but I have never completed it, like, even, like, a, like a, quite a few years ago when I first played it. I didn't even complete it. Hey, the Koopalings, why is Larry hanging on the edge? Like, jeez, neglecting the youngest. What does Bowser have to say about that? Frick you all! Why are you neglecting my youngest? <laughs> His youngest is Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. isn't in this game, so well, whatever. Um, okay. I know how you do this. Being able to hear Bowser's <laughs> noises is good, so we can't have that. Okay, his hand isn't as big, at least. It isn't as big as I think it is. So I'm really safe here. All right, get Bowser to do that. Oh no. Okay. I don't know where I am. Okay, there we go. <sighs> oh no. Don't do that, Bowser. You're burning your castle down all because of this. All right. He hits the platform that you were standing on when his eyes do a little, like, orange shine. Then that means, okay, hit there. Okay. I have to take distance at times. Come on. Okay. And I mean lots of distance. Oh no. <sighs> I would have a backup plan if he hit my platform, but he didn't anyway, so I'm happy. I'm happy when he doesn't hit my platform. Hold on. It's good. A one up? I'm confused. Okay. I need to charge my computer. Okay. So, I'm hoping I get lucky and do this um, final Bowser boss fight on my first try because I have made it super far. And yes, it is my first try. This is my, it's my second try doing just the castle, because the Koopalings part gives me epilepsy. I don't have epilepsy, I'm just saying, like, it gives Mario epilepsy. Do you have mar epilepsy, Mario? Okay. Hit there. Hit man. Hit me, man. I had to take the hit. I'm just saying... Just Super Saiyan. I'm not even gonna try busting out my Tanuki tail. 
It's not worth my time. Okay. Did I just do the game on my first? I beat the final Bowser on my first try. It only took me two attempts to complete the whole damn castle. Only because of the Koopalings part. Just killed me one time. That was the easiest, though. That was not even that hard. The Wii version was really hard. The, U the Wii U version... Come on, the Wii U version isn't even hard. I mean, I know I used Nabbit, but I have done it with Peachette or Toadette, and it's still super damn easy with them. It's not even hard. But, uh... Yeah. That took forever. She didn't actually get them, didn't she? <laughs> Alright. Shit ball. New Super Mario Bros. 2! Big! <laughs> Jacksepticeye face. Uh, surprise Jacksepticeye face. You're using her as your dog to collect coins. Oh! I didn't realize that. I can do this whole damn game. The end credits is a level. Oh no! It's rain and coins. Hallelujah, it's rain and coins. Hallelujah, it's rain and coins. Shite balls. Shite. Fuck. Oh, this is impossible to do without any coins, but again. It's not a level. The end credits isn't a level. Can I throw Peach? I want to throw Peach. Walk on your own, Peach. I've already beaten up uh, the, the five kids of Bowser, um, and if any of them come, I will beat them up. Don't do that, Mario. You're a sick bitch. I can't tell if I'm just bad. Nico BBQ, can you help me out here? Nico BBQ has beaten almost every Mario game. Coinless. Except for Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Only one he hasn't completed coinless is that one. Hey, they're back. Just drop him. He can take the damage. If he survived being flushed down into lava, then drop him. He won't die. It's like a... Did they just die and explode into coins? I hope not, because my favorite Koopaling was there. That is Larry Koopa. He's my... Knacker bag! Okay. Give me the freaking coins! I did way too much playing off camera and ended up in World 6. Hold on. The frick? Looks like Iggy broke his skull. This bitch of Koopa. Did I just say that? Did I just say bitch of Koopa? Okay. I want to see Larry Koopa. Fuck. Hi, or er, bye. What the? What the hell is that? It's Morgan's corpse. Uh, 
Ah. Wendy's corpse. God, please don't have Larry be dead. Okay, they don't look very dead. I see Morton is like... The least you could do is not have my favorite Koopaling be impaled by a tree. God. Okay. He looks like he was impaled at a good spot. Not through the heart. Oof. Could you imagine that? Being impaled through the heart by a tree? Yay, Larry and Ludwig. For some reason, I feel like Larry and Ludwig are actually, like, teammates, or best friends. I don't know. Eee! Oh, I am doing good at dodging the coins. Dodge, 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 dodge! Charger! Oh, shit. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, I I'm dodging. Larry Cooper's not dead. How the hell would he make it into New Super Mario Bros. 2? Or New Super Mario Bros. U. Hell, he made it even into New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I've collected 99 coins. All Eed. Roy! <laughs> Roy? His D is hanging from the letter D. <laughs> his D is Roy. <laughs> He's taking from the letter D. <laughs> what the hell? Um, yeah. This game is too much fun. I can't get off of it. Um. Although I'm still mad that my favorite Koopaling is hanging from a tree. You should have done that earlier. I know what happened, because Iggy looks like a frickin' tunip, or his head looks like a tunip. Because his head looks like a tunip, um, I think that, like, he broke his neck and you get to see his chin. Star pack! What? Uh, uh. Nice. Hallelujah is ready, man. Don't think I would ever fucking from a tree. Next time you go in a car, seatbelt on. And no, I am not going to leave you holding on for dear life on the side of the car. Seriously. Also, if. If there's any sacrifice you can make, it's your dad. Trust me. If he survives being flushed down lava, um, then he's not gonna die. It's it reminds me of Air New Zealand safety. Um, that like had to do with like Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. It was the Lord of the Rings themed like airplane safety video um, of New Zealand Airway. Um, and it reminds me of, like, when Gandalf is on, <laughs> when Gandalf, he doesn't even look like Gandalf. I remember this from the JonTron video of work safety, and Air New Zealand safety was one of the videos that was featured in that thing. Uh, but it reminds me when Gandalf is, um, <laughs> is, um, uh, let me think, is, um, ow, my eyes. When Gandalf is, like, on, um, whatever the bird, the dragon, and he says, If there's ever a miss-off during takeoff, do this, and Jontron says, Okay, he fell down with a Balrog for, like, five days. If the plane crashes, he's not gonna die. <laughs> it reminds me of that, uh, what I'm saying about dropping Bowser instead of just frickin' carrying him. I'm surprised you even took, or I'm surprised you even gave me damage. 
each of these Koopalings did one damage um, upon a boss fight. And that is what they did at max. So, if they can do one damage, even though they're the easiest bosses in the game, they can start their own empire. Hell, the weird thing is that they could have Mario jump onto the clown car, but then move it so that Mario jumps into the blades on the bottom of the clown car, like right there. Is that the full cutscene? I didn't notice Ludwig doing that. Oh! Oh! That's a lot of coins! Okay. <laughs> yeah. My mom quoted Phil Swift, that's what. Um, yeah. Really? It's been fun playing this game, and that boss fight is a crazy experience I won't experience ever again. New Super Mario Bros. U's boss fight was so awful. I didn't like it. I mean, I liked having Bowser Jr. around, but... He didn't add much, he just added, hey, hit me, and then you can hit, he just made it easier. I mean, I know you can, uh, use bob -ombs to kill Bowser. But, I don't know. New Super Mario Bros. Wii's was very hard, actually. New Super Mario Bros. Wii was the hardest I ever did, but... I've done it, like, five times already. A couple of videos I took of it were deleted or didn't save. So, that's what the five times were. I did it once on stream, then I had to re-beat it on recording. Um, then I did it um, for Star Coins. Yeah, I've done it a good amount of times. Uh, it's an easy boss fight, actually. And, um, on Larry Koopa Plays New Super Mario Bros. We the recording didn't save, but I did it. He did it. He did it. So technically, I did it four times. Larry has done it one time. <laughs> Jeez. Shaking the crap out of Larry. I'm trying to shake his hand, but... He just tries dancing like, oh! <laughs> I dropped him. I'm just like, right. And he's just like, <laughs> this is why you're my favorite Koopa Lang. Um, yes, guys, Ludwig von Koopa did arrive. I'm. Uh, Apologies for playing way too much off camera, but World 5 wasn't interesting at all. It was just your run in the mill, cloudy world. World 6 had some normal levels, but they were the same as New Super Mario Bros. We just had a different turn. There was a spine coaster level in it. I don't know. <sighs> but, being lots of fun, kind of got to move on. No, I don't. I will do star coins and stuff, but honestly, that is an experience I will never get to have ever again. The third phase of the boss fight was the most fun. Having him attack faster and having, like, all the Bowser statues shoot lots of fireballs at you was actually amazing. <sighs> <sighs> but, of course, all good things have to come to an end. <sighs> so, no longer gonna do that level no more. No longer gonna have that fun experience. Oh, by the way, please look at Larry. Sexy face face. Bitch. Why aren't you in the game? Here, dude. Fuck you, Luigi. 
here. That's not safe. You're trying to make sure the princess is safer. But that is not how you do it. This is why Roy shouldn't be a member of the Koopalings. He doesn't give a shite about... Yeah, he doesn't actually give a shit. So that's why he shouldn't be a Koopaling. Iggy shouldn't be a Koopaling since he is too crazy and too bitchy. All the metal coins hit their heads and they freaking have a... And they have bumps on their heads that are larger than the Olympus Mons. <laughs> and then, and then the, the Koopalings think, wow, he is the master baiting. Tinder baiting. Uh, the princess did Tinder baiting while he did master baiting. Okay. They were mad because they thought there was a sexy woman on Tinder and they were just like, that's the princess, she's a bitch, we're gonna kidnap her. But, nah, the princess is their mother. I believe it. I don't give a shite. Super Mario Sunshine, I only know you for having Bowser Jr. debut there. Fuck off everything else about that game. Uh, fuck off, even if it has a remake. Or a, a new port, a, a remaster, a 2020 remaster on the Nintendo Switch. I'm just hoping that Super Mario 3D World gets a 2020 remaster on it. But that's a lot of talking I did. Still though, it's depressing to see that my favorite Koopling always ends up having the worst things happen to him in ending cutscenes. That's why I call them ending cunt scenes. Um, yeah. Okay. Farewell, new Super Mario Bros. 2. You have been lots of fun, but next video, I'll promise to do the coin rush. Or just do the DLC stuff, like, I don't know. I don't know. Cancel? I do not want... Street Pass, okay? I'm just going to play this, and hopefully I can replay it. I know I can replay it, but I'll play some for now, and then I'll replay it on recording. See ya. That was lots of fun.